Hi, welcome to this example on the geometric series. Now in this question, what I'm going to show you is how we can do some very common tasks that you're bound to find in many examples in textbooks. So what we've got here is if the sixth term of a geometric series is 972 and the ninth term is 26,244, what we've got to do is find the first term the common ratio and the sum of the first 10 terms. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, we're given a couple of terms here in the series. The sixth term. Now, remember that for a geometric series or sequence, we should know that the nth term, let's just write it down here, is given by a, a being the first term, r, r the common ratio, to the power n minus 1. a r to the power n minus 1. And we can pick up on that idea here because what we've got is the sixth term then is 972. So if n is 6, we know that a r to the 6 minus 1, in other words, a r to the power 5, must equal the 972, the sixth term. So Let's just put that down, that therefore AR to the power of 5, 6 minus 1 then, equals 972. Now we've got two unknowns here, A and R, so with one equation there's no way that we're going to be able to solve this on its own. We need another equation with A and R in. So I'm going to number that equation 1. And this is a sign of simultaneous equations. Well, what we do is we use this other fact here that the ninth term is 26,244 and that means that by applying this formula here the ninth term, n being 9, is going to lead to AR to the 9 take 1, AR to the 8 in other words, is going to equal 26,244. So we'll just write that also we've got AR to the power 8 equals 26,244. And we'll label this equation too. Now to solve simultaneous equations like this in geometric series type questions, then what I would suggest you do is take the bigger of the two equations, which is this one, the one with the biggest power here, and divide it by the smaller uh, one with the power. So in other words, do equation 2 divided by equation 1. And if you do that, you've got AR to the power 8 divided by AR to the power 5 is going to equal, in this example, 26,244 divided by the 972. Now you don't have to put the bigger power on the top, it just makes it easier. You don't even have to do this system of solving. You could make, say, A the subject in each of these and equate them, or even R the subject and equate them. But really, this is the most efficient way of doing this type of equation. Why did I do this? Well, the point is that the A's cancel, so we eliminate them. And what we've got here, by putting the bigger power on the top, we've just simply got r cubed, because remember you have to subtract the powers. So you've got r cubed equals, and if you divide this, you'll find that you get 27. So r cubed equals 27, and to get r, the common ratio, just need to take the cube root then of 27. And that's going to be 3. So our common ratio then is 3. We need to get that first term. Well, that's going to be easy now because all we need to do is substitute r equals 3 into, say, either equation 1 or 2. I'm going to go for equation 1. So if we sub r equals 3 into equation 1, then what we have is a times 3 to the power 5 equals 972. So to get A, all we need to do is divide 972 then by 3 to the power 5. And if you work that out on your calculator, you'll find you get that 
a the first term is 4. Okay so we've got the first term now we've got our common ratio all we need to do is find the sum of the first 10 terms. So to find the sum of the first 10 terms Remember the sum of the first n terms is given by s with a subscript n and that can often be written as a r to the power n minus 1 all over r minus 1 or you might know another version of this formula where we times top and bottom by negative 1 and you get a times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. Now it doesn't matter which one of these formulas that you use, you should get exactly the same answer for the sum of the first n terms. However, I would encourage you to use this one when the common ratio is more than 1 and this one when the common ratio is less than 1. So for this example I'm going to use this one up here, the first formula. So if we're looking for the sum of the first 10 terms just going to write S10 and we've got A, the first term then, which is 4, times the common ratio, 3 to the power n, so that would be 3 to the power 10 in this example, minus 1, all divided by 3 minus 1. And if you work that out on your calculator, you'll find that you get 118,096. And what I'd encourage you to do is Maybe just try doing the same thing again with this formula. Check out that you get exactly the same answer here. Obviously you should. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then of uh, using these formulae in a question like this. Alright?